the most important. Hi, I'm Melanie Mogul. The most important relationships we have is the relationship with God and the relationship with ourselves. And when you're not putting yourself first, when you're not taking care, when you don't have your self-care in order, when you don't go to do the things that you are like accustomed to doing or taking good care of yourself in certain ways. Um, I feel like you have a lot of consequences behind that. And I also believe that by not putting God first, by putting, because I I do pray to God, um, I show gratitude, I'm grateful, and I understand the things God promised me, and right now I'm listening to God, and I'm following the footsteps that he's ordered for me, and I believe I'm living in my purpose, but in doing so, I still have people in my life, I still have family, friends, things of that nature, and what has been going on with me personally is that I'm finding, I have a prayer routine per se i pray in the morning i pray in the evening i go to church you know but there are times where i pray more and honestly when i'm in darkness when i'm going through things i pray more and then when i'm doing better when i'm doing okay i'm not praying as much as i did when i was in those dark times yes i am showing gratitude but it's still not on the level of prayer that I had going on when I was in dark times. And that's the truth. Like the truth of the matter is, I was praying more when I was going through it. I was praying more when I was going through dark times. I was praying more when I was going through it. Although I do show gratitude now, I was still praying more when I was going through a hard time. Also, I have been feeling sometimes not supported sometimes by my family and friends um although i have a small group of family and friends i have not been feeling support in some areas and i keep going back into this i'm not a regular person god is using me and i need to go to god first i need to go to God first whether you consider yourself a traditional regular person or not the reason why I say I'm not a regular person is because right now I'm, I'm living in my purpose and he put me here to speak to people and and I it's like right now I have this ministry on my heart and God is telling me to tell people to put him first and the reason why I have been unhappy or feeling discouraged is because I wanted, for example, my mother, um, I wanted to talk to my mother about something I had going on. I was excited about it. And I really, was I seeking congratulations or validation or was I just sharing an idea? I don't know, but I felt discouraged when she wasn't available. It was like, that's my mom. I'm, hey mom, I'm trying, I gotta, I wanna, I'm excited to tell you about that. She was busy and I felt like, why, how is she too busy for me? But I realized her being too busy for me is not something for me to take personal. She's not supposed to always be available to me. And also, God is still here. He's always here for me. I love my mother. My mother brought me into the world. But I also understand the relationship, the dynamic of the relationship I should have with God. If I was closer to God, if I was focused on my relationship with God and allowing God to support me and love me, I would not be discouraged when I'm not feeling like I'm getting that attention or affection from other people. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I put God first, but I haven't been putting him immediately first, if that makes sense. And if I put God first, if I really went to God first for everything, I would not feel discouraged when people are not available to me. That is the biggest lesson that I have learned. Although I pray daily, although I thank God for things, when something happens in my life, I still try to call my mother or I still try to call my partner or I still try to call my closest friend. I don't, I haven't been going to God first. I have.
had not been going to God first. And today is February 10th, 2023. It is sometime early in the morning. And I'm coming to this revelation right now that if I had God first in my life as much as I thought he was, I wouldn't be disappointed with the interactions that I have with people. I would not be upset when people are not available to me because that's all it comes down to. The times that I felt disappointed or discouraged, it was because people were not available to me. If I was putting God first, if I was going to God first with what I have going on, I wouldn't be discouraged if my mom is busy or if anybody else in my life that I care about or I feel like I want support from or I feel like I need, and that's another thing, I appreciate the support in my life. So by me appreciating, and I have a video that I'm gonna upload about expectation and appreciation because I, I recorded it and I completely forgot to upload it last week. But if I appreciated the people in my life more, I would not expect of them. My expectations wouldn't be so hard. I wouldn't be so demanding of their affection, attention, and time. So number one, if you don't want to feel lonely, put God first. Put God first. Allow God to be the first person you go to with everything and anything. Number two, appreciate the people that you have. And this is something I preach, but I come to you I, as I go through it and as I learn things. I am teaching you through my own experience. And what I'm telling you is there have been times where I have been ungrateful lately. There have been times where I have maybe felt alone or unsupported when I actually have a great team. I have a great circle of support around me, but I wasn't appreciative of it. And I now feel very... I, I come to the realization that I need to strengthen my relationship with God so that I'm not putting myself in a position to depend upon others so where I can't be disappointed if I'm not getting attention or or having interactions with others. I can't be disappointed. Why am I putting all this on people when God is supposed to be the one to give me that? Like, share, and subscribe.